this charming little bookshop behind me. It's Baggins Bookshop in Rochester in Kent. And as you can see, written above the door, it's England's largest rare and second-hand bookshop. The chap inside us says we can go and walk through the shop just to show you how big it is. Let's go and have a look. Just the entrance alone is charming. It's a very, very handsome shop. Straight away we get mentions of Dickens. Obviously he lived in the area. Everything which is in relation to Rochester, look, there's the cathedral. Got all your war books here, look. Got all your war books here. Oh, yes. This is what a bookshop should be, isn't it? This is a real bookshop. upon books. Turn around, you lead the way. I'll stay behind you. One thing we can't bring to the audience is this fantastic smell. If you can imagine what a bookshop smells like, this is that times a hundred. <laughs> it goes all the way down here. Right, instead of going all through there, let's just go up the stairs because I think we can see that the bottom floor is extensive. There's another little room in there. Gives the uh, British Library a run for its money, doesn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Is that an old? Yeah, they've fastened it though used to be able to open that and it's the sort of desk where you get you still get them in private schools there'd be a quill hole there for your feather quill and you keep all your text and what have you they, they closed it but you can see that that line there is where you could usually lift it it's an old-fashioned reading and writing table Room after room. This is all music. Stereophonic, Sting. This is really charming. Look at these old fashioned pocket edition books. Look at that. What's so fantastic about them is not only are they old, but the, the style of writing will be quite unique and different to how many books are written now. From Live Oaks, a breakneck trail runs up the sides of the mountain, drops down into the valley beyond, and twists among the hills and through canyons to the Rudoza. In the darkness, a man followed this precarious path. His horse climbed it like a cat, without the least uncertainty or doubt. But uh, both mount and rider had covered this ground often during the Washington County War. 
so many good writers or fantastic writers have just come and gone and we just won't know who they, they was. This is this this in the past was how you got the word out. It's how you spread news. This was your media and now people don't have time for this because you can get it so quickly in a, in a television program. But it was reading that made people so fantastic and so clever. Reading enabled you to become truly fluent in words that you wouldn't necessarily hear from the television, which is designed to be more simplistic. Books, especially from the past, will contain many, many words that you'll have to look up the definition of, as opposed to television. What, what television does is it takes all these facts and information and it tries to either make them entertaining or condense them down into a shortened story. I have to do that quite often when I'm presenting. But it is hollow in comparison with having all of the facts laid out before you. And um, <clears throat> many of the original writers of the past, you'd learn a lot more reading from one of them than just listening to um, a documentarian. Well, I say that, depends. I mean, you'd have to read quite a lot. I won't, won't disturb this man, we'll come over. Sounds like there's about six of us walking down here, doesn't it? French. So this is written in French. I'll translate it. It says here, the English are the best in the world and we are silly and not as good as the English. It says it right there in black and white. So what more do you want from the horse's mouth? From the frog's mouth. This is love, but that's a bit of me. This is this is a me book. <laughs> These are the sorts of books that you don't really see in young people homes when they buy homes. These are what you get in your parents or your aunties or grandparents. These are great. You know, they usually end up as toilet books, but. They're really good. Watch your step here, cameraman. Be precarious. Bear in mind, we did miss some, some rooms and walkways. We've just sort of sped this up a bit. Thank you very much for that. Very kind of you.